and learning fast. Expect great things in the missions to come. All I can do is be here to support you, but I promise I'll never give you less than my best. Just goes to show that even the veterans have quite a bit to learn. Next mission is gonna be a breeze. Moving to intercept. Zombie has entered combat with the primary target. Good play. 
until we're back home. The chopper should be here any moment. I can't wait to get back home. I have to say, you all looked amazing out there. Elegant, dangerous, the model of God Eaters. in time. Leave that origami there for a moment. Come with me. I have something to show you. There! Look, it's coming! I knew it would! see you. It certainly took a while to get you to show yourself, hmm? Thank you, Soma, for all your help in bringing her here. Oh, there's just so much I must know. So many opportunities. I'd appreciate an explanation more than your thanks, Doctor. The little lady was quite determined. Wouldn't appear when we needed her to, so I took a chance and eliminated all of her natural prey in the region. <laughs> Can't ignore hunger forever, whether it's your favorite or not. You are devious, Doctor. And I don't know whether that's a compliment. Uh, hey, so... I'm just gonna ask the question on everyone's mind. Who the hell is this kid? Ah, of course, of course. We probably shouldn't be speaking out in the cold like this. All will be explained to the lab. So sorry to keep you all in the dark. Uh, you will join us, yes? I am hungry. Yeah? I... I am hungry? Did you just say what I think you just said you said? I can say it again, but I assure you, it will be no different. This is an origami. No way. Mm -mm. No! What? How? Now, now, be at ease. I promise on my scientist's honor that this origami has no desire to eat you. Origami are monsters, yes, and they all share a certain trait. We refer to it as their bias. You follow? It's an origami's coding. Their predatory nature. Our god arcs have the same thing. That's how they innately know to devour. Correct as usual, Alyssa. These sorts of things are second nature to a god-eater of your caliber. Wait, what? Of course. This origami's bias is unlike any before. It has predilection only toward beasts of a higher order. As far as she's concerned, we puny humans don't even register as a kind of food. You see, this is the common misconception. Aragami aren't simply born with the characteristics of other life forms, not at all. They simply advance at a breakneck pace as they devour more and more each day. As a result, all the possibilities of evolution are condensed into such a short period of time. Choices and change come rapidly, and those moments make an origami precisely what it is. So you're telling me that this child... Exactly! As all humankind did, she found a set of skills and stalled there in her process. It's quite remarkable, really. She's an origami evolving in the same way a human might. This child is both. An origami and a human? Yes. Well, no. 
Uh, well, based on the examinations I ran earlier, her cranial nerves and synapses, uh, oracle cells acting as cranial nerves and synapses, function precisely as a human's might. She has an incredible capacity to learn, clearly as evidenced by her use of language, and she holds much potential. All right, so Doc. Yes, Coda? I think I followed along and got the gist. Okay, it was over my head. But regardless, I'm a little confused. So she talks a lot about food, about being hungry. What exactly do you think she means? Food? Because you know it's a little ominous. The bias of an origami dictates its dinner choices. As a rule, they will not partake of anything like unto themselves. You understand? That said, in times of dire need, uh, now, they'll gobble up anything they can get mitts, paws, or claws on. <laughs> Survival comes first, after all. Of course, that's just an exception to the rule, as all good rules must have. <laughs> uh, the word origami is actually merely an epithet for the creatures. It emerged shortly after their arrival. Many of these monsters appeared in the shape of gods or godlike beings. And here's the rub. What thought process, what evolutionary trick caused them to adopt such forms? They emulate creatures humanity has worshipped for ages. And how did we come to worship them? This origami child bucked that trend. She managed to instead emulate a human. It's beyond rare. It's unheard of. But I digress, and I ramble, and I think you are all well and thoroughly matched by this study group. So I leave you with this, and I think it best. Let's keep this little secret amongst ourselves, hmm? No need to let the news get out and about. Doctors certainly will have to report to the advisor, to the director. Miss Tachibana. You are an exalted god-eater, a stalwart defender of humankind, noble and brave. Do you mean to tell your superiors that I, in your trust, stole an origami, smuggled her to the forward command, and plan to keep her? Well, I... well, um... no. But why? Did I not mention that? I thought I mentioned that. Because she's a valuable sample. Simply perfect to further my own personal research. Nothing more than that, really. Very simple. Oh, fret not. I've taken great pains to ensure this section has unique communications and offset security protocols. It's very, very safe. And I'm sure you wouldn't want anyone to pry into your, shall we say, private affairs, Miss Tachibana? Not to mention that you are already on the hook as my accomplices. Best to simply go along with it, yes? <laughs> yes. I am hungry. Most important, I believe that the young girl needs some friends. I feel she will find a particular affection for you, Soma. You are out of your mind. She may play pretend well, but she is not a human, just an approximation. She's still a monster on the inside. Now the question. Will the god win out over the human, or will the human succeed and take the place of the god? Let the journey begin.